Hello, guys. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, Lourdes. Hello, uh, Amalia. Hello, Rose. And uh, hello, Amilka. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Hello, Maria, Oscar. Hello, Juan. Hello, Hello, Katia. Catherine, to Mario, Marbelli. Hello, Marcela. Nancy, too. Hello, Marcela. Good to see you. Hello, guys. Hello. Okay, guys. Hope you are okay. Hello, Natalie. And Norma, too. Katia, good to see you. And Mario Ramos, too. And good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome back. Right. So let's get uh, to the class. And I hope you are okay and safe. Right. Okay. So Let's get started with the lesson. Remember that yesterday we had some activities, right? So we're going to cover that. And uh, also we are going to uh, learn new topics today, right? So today we're going to discuss uh, some aspects about the weather and season, right? And also we're going to start with this topic that it is the present continuous. continuous. Is the tense that we are going to be studying today. Okay, without further ado, guys, let's get started. And uh, let's see the vocabulary, right, that we had for yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna choose some of you so you can help me with the vocabulary section. Okay, it says number two, Mario. What is number two? What is the, the word for number two? Hello, Mario Ramos, mm -hmm. number two. What is, what is, it says about that is a jacket, right? Do you have jackets, Mario? Do you have jackets or do you like jackets? Do you like mm -hmm. jackets, Mario? No. No, you don't like jackets. No, do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, when, when, for example, I say, do you like, si les gusta, right? Do you like uh, jackets? Están las chaquetas? Podemos responder con un yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or no, no I, I don't. don't. Okay. No, I don't. Second. Okay, there it is. Okay. So there you have, right? Okay, what about number three, uh, Rose, please? Number three, what do you have in number three? And what is that? Number three? Uh, what is that? What is number three? Uh, three belt. Oh, yes, it's a belt. Do you have belts, Rose? Do you have belts? Yes. Yes, for the kids, um, right? <laughs> Para los niños. <laughs> okay, what about number four? Let's see. number four. What is number four? Four. Oh, yeah, there it is. Number four. Can you help, help me, Amalia, please? Number four. What do you have? Ya hablamos de vino, Bosch. Skirt. Okay, we have mm, number four. Amalia? Number, number four. Yes, number four. Number four is high hair. Oh, yes, we have the high heels, right? Do you have high heels? Do you like high heels? Yes. ¿Le gustan los zapatos de tacón? Yes. Yes. Like a lot. A lot. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, really? You don't have problems with high heels. No tiene problemas con los zapatos de tacón, no? No. Okay. <laughs> si yo los uso me voy por un lado, así que mejor. <laughs> <laughs> mejor tenis, tenis. Okay, I'm good with tenis. <laughs> okay. So what about number five? Let's see. Number five. What do you have Monica, with number five? What do you have? Hello, Monica Marisol. What do you have? Uh, ¿Qué número, teacher? Number five, please. Number five. Blouse. Oh, yes. It, this is a blouse, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about <coughs> number six? Uh, let's see. Luis Alonso. What about number six? 
Luis Alonso, number six, maybe your, oh yeah, there you have. It's there you scared. It's a scared, right? It's a scared. Okay, hay algunos países que los hombres utilizan skirts, right? But that is not your case, right, Luis? What? Ese no es su caso, ¿verdad? No. El caso de las faldas, okay. No, algunos países Escocia. que sí. Escocia. Escocia, Esco Escocia yes. Sí. Uh -huh. Ellos usan faldas, right? Teacher, They wear una skirts. pregunta. Una pregunta, teacher. Eh, la número 5 nos escribe B, L, O, oh, yes. U, L, E. Blouse. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank Error de dedo. Error de dedo. Yes, thank you. Ok, <laughs> por eso me ayudaron. Number 6. Um, sorry, number 7, Oscar. Number 7. What do you have for number 7? 7, 7, 7, 7. Sure. Um, no. 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 Oh. We're going to add swimsuit, right? Swimsuit. Traje de baño. Swimsuit. Backpack. Oh, backpack. T-shirt. Can be right. Yes. Uh, my son, my son says uh, swimsuit. Swimsuit? Uh, Ah, sí, sí, se puede decir también baiting sweet, baiting sweet. Baiting sweet. Suit. Suit. Ah, suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. It can be. Ok. Sí, yes. Sí, sí. The one, la que he escuchado bastante común es this one, swimsuit. Baiting. Teacher, para mí era right. short. Ok. It can be okay. short, still right. right. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Ok. No, ok, yes, it can be Not right. short. Parece que es short. Sweet. Parece que short. Okay. So we can say that it's short, maybe swimsuit too, in the case of the boys, right? And what about eight? What can we add for eight? Pants. It can be pants, right? Or shorts. Someone say shorts yesterday. Uh -huh. Pants, right? Or short. Okay. But short, it is like, a, it's much pequeño, short, right? What about number nine? What can be number nine? Number nine, what nine, do you have? Nine, cup. Mm -hmm. cup. Yes, right. It is a cup, right? What about 10? What is 10? T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. T-shirt. Okay, what about 11? Socks. Socks, right? They are socks. What about uh, 12? Yes, Mario. They are sneakers. La nueve no es cap. Cap, yes. Cap. Escribió taza. Oh, cap. Cat, right? Cat is that one I completely forget. Cat. Or cap. No es cap, recuerdo. Cap. C-A-P. Oh, yes, right. Yes. Sí. Like that, Cap? Yes. yes. Solo era para ver si estaba poniendo atención, por eso lo hice. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Solo por eso lo hice. No, 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 you are right. You are right, you are right, guys. It is Cap, right? I was thinking in, in the taza de café. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's continue. And there you have the vocabulary. Todos los errores son hechos a propósito, así que don't worry. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue with this part, right? And uh, we're going to see and check, right, some of the words, right? What clothes can we wear, for example, for work? Catherine Abigail, tell me what clothes can we mm. wear for? Tie. Okay, we can use a tie. Mm -hmm. Belt. Belt. Mm -hmm. Jacket. Jacket. Mm -hmm. uh, shoes. Shoes, ok, yes. Pero ahora como estamos en la casa, ah, algunos utilizan shorts, right? And uh, formal um, blouse, it can be. That is optional. Ok, thank you, Catherine. What about you, Amilcar? What about for later? Tengo Hello? una pregunta. Yes, Nancy. Eh, no dice ahí que es la, son la... I don't belong, right? Que no usaríamos, digamos, en el trabajo, ah. en el ocio. 
Yes, yes. Ven, a propósito, lo estoy haciendo. <laughs> Yo se había entendido también. <laughs> no, yes, you are right, you are right. You are uh -huh. right. Okay, yes, you are right. Okay, Catherine, again. What clothes don't belong <laughs> to the category? Shirt. What clothes? Okay, shirt. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And swimsuit. 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 Okay, swimsuit. there you have. Yes, okay, thank you. What about for leisure? What clothes don't belong, right? I heard. Uh -huh. um, Amalia, can you help me, Amalia, for leisure? Sweet. Oh, suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. And high hair. High heels. Mm -hmm. High heels. What else? Um. And uh, maybe gloves. What about gloves? Gloves. That's yes, right. Gloves. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Amalia. What about uh, you, Maria Imelda? Cold weather. Cold weather. Hmm? Um, okay, don't be long, right? So we have that it is mm -hmm. shorts, right? Short. Gloves. Gloves. Mm -hmm. T-shirt. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. And sweater. And um, sweater. Oh, doesn't be long, right? Cold. Mm -hmm. For cold weather? No, right. Uh, that one maybe no. There is a Okay, so I'm going to take this one, but I don't know how. Okay, uh, so about this one. Okay, only shorts, gloves, and uh, t-shirt, right? Okay, what about for warm weather? What do you have for warm weather? Katia, what about you? What do you have for warm weather? What, Katia? I'm sorry, Katia eh, Kwang. Okay. Boots. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have. Don't belong, right? Don't belong. Ah, okay. okay, you said boots and boots. sweater. Sweater, sweater. Mm -hmm. I don't need. That's it. Yes. Okay, for warm weather, right? Sweater and boots. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. So uh, let's write the sentences. Tenemos la instrucción que tenemos que hacer tres oraciones en singular, en three sentences, plural, y tres oraciones utilizando el posesivo. Okay, I want to listen a sentence in singular. Can you help me, María Lucila? ¿Cómo nos quedaría una oración en singular, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría una oración en singular? Acá tenemos las palabras que vamos a utilizar. Maria? My uh -huh. favorite. My favorite. Uh -huh. uh, shirt. My favorite shirt. Uh -huh. uh, purple. Uh -huh, purple. Algo hace falta ahí. Something is missing. What is missing, Maria? If. Is right. Purple. Okay, give me another example. Uh, let's see, Nancy. A singular sentence, please. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> um, the, the bottle is purple. No sé si lo dije bien. The water, okay, the bottle. Uh -huh. Okay, there yes. can be the bottle. The water bottle is purple, right? Uh -huh. Is purple, okay, very good. Okay, what about as a plural, lo urdes? What about a plural sentence? Una oración en plural, a plural sentence. I, my book is um, brown. My books is oh, no, our, our, oh, yes. our, our. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Perfect. Okay. My books are brown. Another plural sentence. Rose, please. A plural sentence. Mm -hmm. Rose, a plural sentence. Okay, okay. Amilcar, okay, Amilcar. You can help, uh, you can help us. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Let's listen uh, first Rose and luego Amilcar. Okay, dígame Rose. My, my shorts. Mm -hmm. My shorts is blue. My shorts is blue. Is that correct? My shorts is are all right. My shorts are blue. Are blue, yeah. Okay, Amilcar, uh, another sentence, Amilcar? Uh, my socks uh, are dark blue. My socks? Are dark blue. Dark blue, yeah. Okay, what about a sentence in possessive? ¿Cómo nos quedaría una oración in possessive? A sentence, who has a sentence in possessive? Me, teacher. Okay, me, Marcela. Okay, Marcela Contreras, okay. give me your sentence. Okay, Santiago's glasses are red. Glasses, very good, are red. red. Muy bien, los lentes de Santiago son rojos. Excellent, Marcela. Another sentence. His jeans. Okay, his jeans, his jeans are, are pink. Pink, yes, right. Tenemos el posesivo his. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Another sentence. No posesivos. Todavía no hace falta. Hers, his, mine, yours. Utilicemos uno de esos, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria. Mm -hmm. uh, the pants is mine. The pants, okay. Is mine. Is or are? Uh, is, no, are mine. Are mine, right? Muy bien, ya tenemos el posesivo my in this case. Okay, okay very good, guys. Estamos, we are very good with this. Don't forget to review the possessive, right? His, her, hers, mine, and your too. Okay, so let's move on to the next exercise. And here you're going to help me with this one too. So, me ayuda with number two, Mario Rivera. Do you have number two, Mario? Recordemos que tenemos que use the example, right? And take care with that picture. Hey, Mario, what do you have in number two? Hello, Mario Rivera. Mario Rivera, what do you have in number two? Sí, eh, uh -huh. estoy viendo uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice? Bueno, no, no noto muy bien lo que es sobre el jardín o saco. Es un skirt. Skirt, alfombra. ¿Alfombra? ¿Cómo se dice? No problem, guys. El café no hace falta. The coffee is missing. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have, let's say, para Jade, it is skirt, say, right? Okay, so, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Who's skirt is this? Who's skirt? Is this right? Sure, okay. Is this. And the answer? It's, it's Tiffany's. 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 It's Tiffany's. Yes, it's it's Tiffany's, right? Tiffany's. Okay, very good. What about number three? Whose whose boots, boots. Whose boots, boots, boots are, are these? Boots are yes. these. Whose boots are are these? Mm -hmm. Are these? Yeah. Whose boots they, are they, they, they are 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 they they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, 
Daniels. Daniels, right? Daniels. Son los zapatos de Daniel. What about uh, number four? Who's, who's, who's high are these? Who's high heels are these? And the answer? They, they are, are Tiffany. 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 They are Tiffany's, right? Tiffany's. Okay, what about uh, the number six? Whose who's t-shirt is this? Whose t-shirt is this? Mm -hmm. It's Daniels. It's Daniels. Okay, Daniels. Okay, there you have, guys. Excellent sure. job. Mm -hmm. No yes, sería de Jade. Uh, okay. Por el color. Um, Blouse. Yes, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's a blouse. It's a blouse. Maybe it's a blouse. Even though I see like it is a shirt too. Okay, I but it can be. Too. It can be too. Okay. But Daniels, in el caso sí vamos a cambiar la pregunta porque es de Jade, right? La, la respuesta it's it's Jade. Que la de Daniels it's, it's long, right? It's long. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, eh, Catherine. Okay. okay, so uh, let's continue, guys, and uh, let me congratulate to all of you because you are practicing, right? That is the purpose of this. So let's uh, describe this person and tell me who they are talking about. You're going to listen this section and you're going to tell me the description. Okay, let's go. There's green. Part A. Listen to someone describe these clothes. Number the pictures from one to six. Okay, solo si me ayudan one. con los, uh, con el audio, please. Todavía escucho que eh, hay interferencia. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go. His shirt. is green and his jeans are light blue. His belt is black. His shoes are light brown. Two. His shirt is white. His belt is black and his shoes are dark brown. His jeans are dark blue. Three. His jeans are dark blue. His belt and shoes are black. His shirt is green and white. Four. Her jacket is light blue and her skirt is dark blue. Her blouse is white and her scarf is pink. Her high heels are black. Five. Her dress is light blue and her scarf is pink. Her coat is beige. Her high heels are black. Six. Her skirt and jacket are light blue. Her blouse is gray. Her scarf is orange. Her high heels are black. Okay, guys, so uh, do you do you need one more time? Una vez más, one more time? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay. Listen to someone describe these clothes. Number the pictures from one to six. One. His shirt is green and his jeans are light blue. His belt is black. His shoes are light brown. Two. His shirt is white. His belt is black and his shoes are dark brown. His jeans are dark blue. Three. His jeans are dark blue. His belt and shoes are black. His shirt is green and white. Four. 
Her jacket is light blue, and her skirt is dark blue. Her blouse is white, and her scarf is pink. Her high heels are black. Five. Her dress is light blue, and her scarf is pink. Her coat is beige. Her high heels are black. Six. Her skirt and jacket are light blue. Her blouse is gray. Her scarf is orange. Her high heels are black. Okay, guys, there you have the the descriptions, right? Uh, they presented number one. Who is number two? Who can describe me? The person and uh, the name too. Who wants to do number two? Who has number two? Me. Okay, Hello. Katia, Elizabeth. Okay, Hello. Katia, Hello. tell me. Who is sí. number two? Uh, I think it's Alice because the shirt is white and jeans are dark blue. And say the shoes are um, dark. dark brown. Exactly. And I think fact, it's Alex. It's Alex, yes. Okay. So Alex, very good, uh, Katia. So Alex is number two. So who has number three? Number three, who has number three? Oh, Amilcar. Okay, Amilcar, tell me, please. Uh, who is number, number three? Uh, number three is Patrick. Okay, uh, why? Her uh, jeans uh, is black. Uh, no lo logro ver bien el color. It is, okay. The, uh -huh. uh, shoes is black. Uh, uh, The shirt is white. Right and green. And green, yes, excellent, that's right. And in fact, it is Patrick, right, number three. Okay, what about number four? Catherine Abigail, tell me. Who is uh, number four is Beth. Uh, oh. Because <laughs> high heels is dark. Mm -hmm. The skirt is light blue, and the and the scarf is mm -hmm. is orange. Oh, mm -hmm. it's orange. It's mm -hmm. orange. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you said that uh, Beth. It is number four. Yes, number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to have this, and then we're gonna listen. Okay, what about number five? What about number five? Who has number five? Number five, is it Anna or Grace? Mm -hmm. Yes, Marcela? Mm -hmm. yes, um, I think mm -hmm. uh, number, number, number four is Grace. Number four, I okay. Is Grace. Yes, Grace, okay. Because in the in the audio in the audio says mm -hmm. um the skirt is is color uh, orange mm -hmm. uh, and the and the gray the skirt is color um pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna listen the audio one more time and then you will see the answer. So you said that this is four and let's say. Anna, what is now Anna? Is it number, number five? five? Number, number five. five. Number, number five. And uh, number six, you said that it is Beth thing. Yes. Okay, so we're going to check that part and you are going to tell me the answer. Okay, let's I listen. Page 24. Vamos solo a corroborar. What is the answer? And you tell me. Are dark brown. His jeans are dark blue. Three. His jeans are dark blue. His belt and shoes are black. His shirt is green and white. Four. Her jacket is light blue and her skirt is dark blue. Her blouse is white and her scarf is pink. Her high heels are black. 
page 24. Okay, Ex so she, he says his her blouse gray. is white. So it is going to be grays, right? Yes. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent. That is part, right? That we practice a lot. Okay, so let's continue with more exercise. And uh, we're going to learn today about the weather, que es el clima, and the seasons, right? Que son como las, uh, for example, if it is cloudy, if it is rainy, the seasons and the weather. Okay, can you help me uh, with the reading, Maria Lucila? Can you help me with the reading, please? It's a print in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Mm -hmm. It's a war. It's very sunny. Okay, very good. Tenemos que it's spring. Tenemos seasons, que son las estaciones, right? Seasons and the weather, que es el clima around the world. Tenemos spring in Sao Paulo. Spring, we know it in Spanish. As, for example, uh, this spring, I forget it. Let me just check this. The name. Oh, it is primavera, right? Primavera, I completely forgot. It is primavera. Do we have a spring in El Salvador, guys? Do we have a spring in El Salvador? No? No. No, we, no. we don't have spring. No. Okay. No, we don't. No, we don't. What about it's yeah. summer? Verano? Do we have summer? Yes. Yes, yes. right. Yes. So, yes. yes. It's raining. Llueve mucho, right? Está lloviendo. It's raining. Then we have it's hot and humid. Un clima eh, caliente and with humid, right? So here maybe we have it. What about fall? Do we have this season, tenemos esta temporada in our country, the fall. Do we have it, guys? Maybe, maybe we have it. What yes. is the meaning of fall? It is um, yes, it is fall, but let me just otoño. check. Otoño, yes, I okay. Mm. Yes, yes, it is otoño. Maybe. Let me just check. Okay, but it is, let me just check that. Let's see. No, 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 I will check it. But yes, let's say it is otoño, maybe here. Okay, then we have it's cool, it's cloudy and windy, right? Cloudy, cloudy. Teacher. Just, yes? Fall, fall is otoño. Yes, right. Okay. Oh. Thank you, Katia. Okay, teacher. Okay, what about, a, a, we have winter, right? Winter, do we have a winter in El Salvador? Yes. yes. El, el invierno, right? Today. So, today, right? <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. Okay, and we have the phrases, for example, it's a snowing. Será que aquí, uh, is it a snowing? No, right? No. 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 no, it isn't. Okay, never, right? Never. Have you ever touched? No sé si Only in Pital, teacher. In Pital, yes. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I read the, the story, right, about the Pital that they have snow before. Yeah. Okay, tenemos algunas expressions, right, that we can use with summer. Uh, we have autumn, that it is the same as fall. And uh, it, this is the same as well as we escribe it as fall too. Okay, it is going to be the same. So we have it's hot, it's sunny, people go to the beach, and people usually go on holiday. Tenemos el autumn here, that it's often windy, it's cloudy, and it's a bit cold, as we are writing, cloudy. So, what is your favorite season, Luis Alonso? What is your favorite season? The winter. The winter, okay. Why the winter? Uh, for la Why lluvia. winter? 
Oh okay. yes, right. Because of the, the rain. The the, rain. Of the rain, because of the rain. Okay, then we have winter, right? That it's very cold, it rains, uh, and it snows too, right? So we have uh, spring too. We have a spring, we have that it is warm. Uh, then we have that it is a nice weather. Okay, so there we have some of the seasons here. Okay, tenemos algunas preguntas. What's the weather like? ¿Cómo es el clima? What's the weather like? So we can say that it is rainy, que mucho, hay muchas, en el caso de que la, hay muchas nubes, right? It's cloudy. Then we have windy, que hace mucho viento. Uh, snowy, we don't use it, right? No lo utilizamos mucho, snowy. And sunny, yes, a lot. Un día muy soleado. It's a sunny day, right? Then we have that, for example, a nice weather, un buen clima, un clima acceptable, aceptable. Lo mismo con fine, uh, it is cold, uh, frío, right? Warm, algo que sea cálido, and hot. Okay, un clima que es muy caliente, hot. Okay, and there is, that is all right about the weather and season. No sé si hay dudas about the weather and seasons. Rainy is... Rainy? Rainy? Rainy is... Es nuboso. No, cuando está lloviendo. Uh, mm -hmm. It's rainy. It's winding. Oh, windy cuando hace mucho viento, uh -huh. right? Windy. Mucho viento. Mucho viento, viento. Ah, oh, viento. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you have some nice of the words. Teacher. Nice es como un clima así como que bueno, agradable. It's nice. Okay. Warm. Warm. I'm sorry? Warm. Oh, warm, un clima cálido. Cálido. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Cold, teacher. Uh, cold, cold, cold. This one? Cloud, cloudy. Yeah. Cloudy. cloudy? Cloudy. 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 Cloudy means, for example, que hay muchas nubes. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Cloudy. Let's see. Let, let me just, eh, déjame encontrar otra palabra. Quiero ver. Nublado. Nublado. That is the, the, the meaning too. Okay. No. So there you have some of the words que podemos utilizar in the weather. What's the weather like today? ¿Cómo es el clima ahorita? What's the weather like today? ¿Cómo es el clima? What's the weather like today? Warm. It's cold. Warm. It's cold. cold. Para el... cold. Okay. Warm. ¿Cómo cold. cambia, verdad? Windy. It's cold. Para unos es... It's windy. En los naranjos es bastante bonito el clima. It's yes. fine. Oh. Yes, oh. right. It's cold, right? It's warm too. Otros que están más allá por San Miguel o Sonsonate. It's really hot, right? Are you from Sonsonate, guys? Or for San Miguel, La Paz, no? Yes, I live in Sonsonate. Oh, is it hot here, Amilcar? Mm, very, very hot. Yes, right. Yes, I remember. I went there and the weather is so hot there. Usulutan, okay. teacher. Usulutan is, is hot. Yes. San Miguel también. San Miguel. Yes. La, la San Vicente no. también. Last weekend, I mm -hmm. visit a taco to mm -hmm. oh, husband families. Mm -hmm. It's very, very uh, cool. Uh, cool. Cool. And uh, bien. Windy. Okay, it's windy there. Oh, uh -huh. my God. Okay, yes, a taco is. I have, another, I have another house in Los Naranjos. Uh, mm -hmm. Very, very cold. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. You, you have to invite us, Amilka. O sea, no se tiene que invitar a todos ahí. To a party. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> a de la flores. Oh, yes, yes. We have to do a route, right? Okay, so here we have some of the words, right, that we use for the weather. Um, that, I don't know if you have a question, for example, with 
a word or a pronunciation. No. Let's see. Okay, Mario Ramos, no problem. Okay, so tenemos la palabra cool, right? Que es fresco. Okay, so let's move on to the, with this part. Vamos a hacer una writing activity. And uh, I want you to write a 25, 25 word paragraph describing the weather and the seasons of our country or of your place where you live. In caso de Amilcar, in case Amilcar's case, he's going to talk about some sonata, right? According to your place. So, sure. vamos a un párrafo. Yes, Amilcar? Oh, I'm sorry. De 25 palabras, right? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we Hello. are going to... Uh -huh. Solo me estaciono, teacher, que ahorita todavía voy de camino hacia mi casa, pero ahorita me estaciono. Ok, ok. Ok, no, no, no se preocupe, Amilcar, I, un, I understand. Ok, so, vamos a hacer un párrafo y usted de 25 palabras, describiendo mm -hmm. el clima en las estaciones, right, for example. Ok. Describe the seasons in your country, vamos a describir las diferentes seasons that we have. And uh, what is your favorite one? ¿Cuál es su favorita? ¿Y por qué? What clothes can you wear? ¿Qué ropa podemos utilizar? And uh, basically, uh, si podemos agregar más información, it's going to be better. ¿Cómo podemos okay. empezar? Por ejemplo, we can say, no. I will describe no. Salvador. Podemos decir, o dependiendo del lugar donde usted vive, Salvador's weather, right? It is, usted puede decir, it is cold, it is hot, etc. El Salvador has, para decirle Salvador tiene, podemos decir que el Salvador has four o three, en caso de Three seasons, right? Okay, ahí tenemos algunas, some of the expressions. Okay, let's work. Let me know if you have questions. Sí, Sher. Mm -hmm. No necesariamente... Debemos elegir, podemos elegir otro lugar. No oh, yeah. yes, we can, we can say that too, Katia. We can, we can talk about that. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, I'm going to change that. Podemos agregar uh, a place that you like. It can be from our country or a place you have busy. Teacher, okay. no importa uh -huh. si es de otro país que no guste. No, 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 no. Oh. Vamos a hacerlo okay. sin no problem. Ok. Ok, let me know if uh, you are ready. And then you can share with us. Okay, move vamos. How is everything going, guys? Do you have the paragraph? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nelly? Podría volver a poner la imagen, porfa. Okay, let's do something. Uh, se los voy a compartir por WhatsApp. Porque así pasó la asistencia. Para no quitarles tiempo al final.
let's see. <coughs> okay, here it is. Okay, let's see. Voy a pasar asistencia mientras ustedes terminan paragraph. Okay. Let's see, Amilcar. Are you Amilcar? Amilcar. Oh, yes. Thank oh, yes. Thank you. Okay, Ana Marcela. Ana Marcela. Ana Marcela. Okay, thank you. Oh, Catherine Abigail. Oh, yes, ahí está. Thank you. Catherine Alicia. Catherine Alicia. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's see the Catherine Beatriz, Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz, está, no está. Eh, Catherine Patricia, está Catherine Patricia. Ahí está, Hi, yes, thanks. Catherine, thank you. Catherine Jasmine, ahí está Catherine Jasmine. Thank you. Okay, Katia Graciela, are you there? Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Okay. Let's see, Katia Elizabeth, Katia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Laura Lisette, Laura Lisette. Laura. No está Laura. Uh, Leonardo Javier está. Is here, Leonardo Javier. Leonardo. Oh, yes, thank you, Leonardo. Lo Urdes, Anaí is here. Lo Urdes, Lo Urdes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And the uh, word is an I, the word is an I. Ya dije present. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Luis Alonso, Luis Alonso. Oh, yes, there it is. Present, Sí. Manuel de Jesús, Manuel de Jesús. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Veamos, Marcelina Amalia, Marcelina Amalia. Present teacher. Ok, eh, Marcelina Marbelli, está Marbelli. Present teacher. Ok, María Imelda. Present. Ok, Present thank teacher. you. María Lucila, María Lucila. Present. Ok, thank you. María Magdalena. Present. Ok, let's see, Mario Alberto. Mario Alberto, no está. Present teacher, present. Oh, oh, gracias, thank you. Let's see, Mario Ernesto. Present. Mario, okay, thank you. Eh, Marta Carlos, ahí está, yes. Mónica Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And uh, Nancy Consuelo, sí, por ahí la vi. Thank you, sorry. Natalie, okay, Natalie. Natalie. Present. Okay, thank you. Nelly, por ahí viene Nelly, me parece que viene Nelly. Ah, sí, ahí está. Okay, Norma. Aquí estoy, Elizabeth. aquí estoy. Okay, thank you, Nelly. Norma. Present, Norma. teacher. Okay, thank you. Oscar Armando, Oscar Armando. Okay, there you are. Thank you, Oscar. And Rose, ahí está Rose. Okay, so who wants to read the paragraph? Wants to raise your hand, please. Levantemos la mano if you want to read the paragraph so we can listen your paragraph. Remember 25 words, right? Mm -hmm. Who has the paragraph? Katia Kwan. What about you? Do you have it? But I pray. Mm -hmm. I pray. I have prayed. Uh-huh. But yes. Yes. But are you ready? If not, I can give the the, spe the, yes. the chance to Katia. Oh, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's listen, Katia, and then Katia Elizabeth, and then Rose, and then Catherine Abigail. Okay, let's listen, Katia Kwan. I will describe Nahuizalco weather. Nahuizalco is warm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's windy. 
-hmm. And my favorite season is cold and warm because I did train, train in the mountain and work because I like and I love you. I go to the beach mm -hmm. with my family. Only that teacher. Okay, and you love me a lot, right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, solo cambiamos donde dice I love you. Uh -huh. Cambiémosle a I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, I, yes, love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, teacher. Me encanta. Okay, thank you. Let's listen, Rose, and then Catherine Abigail. Catherine Abigail, okay? I am ready. Okay, uh, let's listen, Rose. Uh -huh. My country is El Salvador. Uh -huh. El Salvador is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's warm and nice. Uh -huh. Okay, a veces. Uh -huh. my, my clothing is short and teacher and sn sneakers uh -huh. and the, the clima ¿cómo, cómo se the weather aquí? weather weather the weather and nice uh -huh. and nice uh -huh. okay that's it Rose eh, revisemos en el WhatsApp estoy escribiendo ahí una oración que debemos cambiar okay Rose tengamos cuidado con singular en plural okay let's listen Catherine Abigail okay Let's listen. Okay. In my city, San Salvador, the season is nice, hot, windy, and sometimes it's rainy. Mm -hmm. My favorite season is rainy because I can sleep in very fine. In the rainy, I wear my, my favorite sweaters and my favorite cold jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. I give you a big 10. Catherine Abigail, excellent, Catherine. Okay, let's continue with uh, Maria Imelda. Okay, let's listen. Maria Imelda. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the travel to Japan. It's very hot. I like to wear short tennis shirts and hot weather. Allowed uh, at home. I like a bear when it rains. I love winter and when it is a little cold. Okay, when it is cold. You like that weather. Okay, excellent. Maria, Melda, I give you a 10. Excellent. Okay, let's listen, Katia Elizabeth. Okay, Katia. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I will describe a pack of words. Mm -hmm. It's very cool and sometimes it's windy, but mm -hmm. uh, I am happy in this place. I love it. You it's love it. I bought it weather and I wear a warm, a warm, warm, it's correct, blouse, blouse. Blouse, a warm blouse. blouse. A warm blouse. No. Warm blouse. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pants and boots. 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 Mm -hmm. I wear a scarf and sweater too. A scarf and sweater. Okay, I see you love. It's uh, only time I use a scarf. <laughs> you wear, okay, you wear. Wear, wear, wear. wear. Okay. okay, perfect, Katia, very good. Recordemos que cuando siempre usamos algo, siempre es wear, right? Wear, wear something. Okay, let's listen to uh, Nelly Ventura. Ready, Nelly? <clears throat> Um, my favorite season in my country is the winter. Mm -hmm. How's the weather? Weather is mm -hmm. cold, and I love the cold weather. And in this season, like I like to wear pants, see, see pants <laughs> and jacket, and. Also, mm -hmm. I usually wear socks. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, just remember, uh, solo recordemos que es wear, right? Porque si decimos wear, con el sonido de la I, wear significa raro. Wear. So, 
eh, solo veamos the pronunciation, were right, en el caso del verbo. Si decimos o pronunciamos uh, weird, es como que usted diga el adjetivo raro. Ok, raro. Ok, excellent. So, let's listen a uh, one more. Amalia, are you ready, Amalia? Yes. Ok, let's listen to you. The country is El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Has two seasons. Summer and winter. My favorite season is summer. Mm -hmm. The closer I wear is short, the shirt, sneaker, and cap. Mm -hmm. En cap, yes, right. Ok, Amalia, excellent. Ok. Excellent job. Ok, guys, no sé. Is there somebody else? No. Ok, if not, let's move on to the five minutes, four minutes I have. No more? Okay. Sí, sure. Yes. I, I, where is, it is the same, where, de donde? Where? Where, where the pronunciation? Okay, it's the same pronunciation, but the spelling is different, right? Okay. Es la misma pronunciación, pero la escritura is different y también el, el contexto es muy diferente. Okay. Okay, Thanks. you're welcome. So we have, uh, vamos a ver un poquito de este tema, que es el presente continuo. Cuando utilizamos el presente continuo, es la traducción en español de ando, endo. Por ejemplo, yo estoy viendo, tú estás eh, estudiando. Todos esos son los, ese se le llama el presente continuo o el presente progresivo en inglés. So, ¿Cómo lo formamos? Usamos el verb to be más el verbo en ing. So we have the sentence, I am wearing shoes. You are studying. Eh, you are cooking. Entonces lo que hacemos es agregarle ing al verbo. Por ejemplo, you are watching TV. Tú estás viendo televisión. You, en el caso que estemos hablando de Mario. Mario is, está leyendo, is Reading. ¿Cómo puedo teacher, decir? Eh, teacher. Ahí es donde se comienza a usar el ING. El sí. ING. Con ING, yes. Vamos a agregar ING al verbo, right? Eating. Para decir Mario está leyendo. Uh -huh. Ese sería como la traducción: es ando, endo, right? Ando, endo. Teacher, uh -huh. son dos verbos juntos. El, el verbo, verbo auxiliar. Y el verbo, sí. What to be? And uh, the verb with ing. Esa es la, la fórmula, right? Subject más el verb to be. Más el verbo, el verb, usándolo con ing. Ing. That is going to be lo que vamos a mantener en la estructura. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, por lo menos a tener la idea del verb to be right. Ok, por ejemplo, usted está comiendo. ¿Cómo puedo decir usted está comiendo? You are eating. You are eating. You, you are, are eating. Eating. Uh, eating. Eating, exacto. Eating. 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 Eh, digamos, eh, María y Lucila están durmiendo. ¿Cómo puedo decir? María, Lucila, María, María, yes, and Lucila, are, are sleeping. sleeping, sleeping, that's right, guys. So there you have the idea, no les quiero tomar mucho tiempo, les voy a compartir un video para que ustedes puedan verlo y el día de mañana, in case you have questions, we can have some exercise and some activities. Okay, guys, I will say good night to all of you. Thank you so much for coming. And I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Bye, teacher. Safe, guys. Yeah. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you.